We don't know if workers are going to return to the city five days a week. We don't know if um, the push for people to move to the regions is going to be sticky. And we don't know if the CBD is going to be able to attract um, diverse uses to get that vibrancy um, back into the city again. What's happening in Greater Sydney and what's happening globally, nationally and globally, will have a big impact on what happens next. And what we know about the knowledge economy is they want places where people are able to um, come together and connect. People were having such animated conversations and they were hearing different perspectives. So you had economic planners, social planners, you had people from the arts sector, the regulation sector, the property sector, all having different views and sharing their understanding of the market and the situation and what potentially star could be. One thing that was quite clear was that they could consider star at a really early point to start to change some behaviour. So we had some really fantastic insights into what are the pain points from the different perspectives that we need to start having those conversations. Today I'm going to talk to you about focusing down from the big picture that Alison presented to looking at the specifics of what STAR could be. Vacancy is a real um, indicator of the risk of assets becoming stranded, assets becoming obsolete. So while research is saying let's all adaptive reuse, it's more sustainable, it's the best solution, it didn't suit this distribution of vacancy across the city. So that's where STAR comes in. We need to do that from an environmental, sustainability, climate change perspective, but we also need to do it from a COVID impact perspective, create resilience, create a different mix in the city so that when acute stresses and shocks hit, we have a different kind of building stock that what we lean on the other sectors uh, to create vibrancy. We've also seen people really come to the table and support each other. Um, we've been forced to change and do things differently. Um, and we've taken that opportunity to think about doing things differently. There's an idea in politics called the Overton window, where there's a window of opportunity for things that can open up and it can close again. And I think we're in one of those rare moments where there's a real window of opportunity for, for change. There was a real alignment of the need to consider STAR um, in moving forward, particularly where we don't know what markets are going to be, where they're going to be in three, four, five, 12 months time. And it was around the excitement for Sydney that STAR could provide, that we, STAR's part of that reimagining of what Sydney could be.